Yes, hello and hello, hello and welcome to the Voices from Behind podcast. This week on the episode, snakes. Sexy, sexy 80s snakes. Allegedly, supposedly, maybe not. Hold on, speak for a second. Yeah, you're not coming through on OBS. Hold on, I am for fuck's sake. Because I had it fixed for the AirPods and now it's just, okay, audio. Desktop audio is what I need. Say something now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, how about now? My goodness, what is it doing? Well, oh, there we go. There we go. You're here. You're here. We're all good. Am I though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're here. Double check it. Well, double check it while you're at it. But you should be. You should be there. Maybe. There might be a slight delay, but. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not yeah there. you're I'm there. Not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's good to be back in the UK. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yes, my parents told me that uh, the sanctions are back up home. Sanctions? Yeah, the coronavirus shit. Oh, that uh, they started, they stopped, they started again. So honestly, at this point, I don't know what they're doing and what's going on, but no one knows. I think people are too busy protesting than they are actually paying attention to their own health. I mean, can you blame them? No, I can't blame them, but it doesn't mean they can't be careful about it. But regardless, um, it, it kind of mutually excludes uh, each other, don't you think? Yeah. Didn't we already see this? It, it kind of mutually excludes. It's either one or the other. Yeah, that's a good point. It does. Because you can't have, uh, let's say, 20,000 people occupying the fucking center and be five feet apart from each other. <laughs> Like, uh, what is this? Some kind of a military drill? What are we? Some kind of military squad? Yeah. Uh, what did you do this week? Did you do anything? Actually, surprisingly, well, I finished the book. Oh. Uh, I found a new the YouTube channel to watch. What's the name of the channel? Uh, give you a second. Because I forgot, because I'm terrible with names. It's a modern vintage gamer. Imagine my love for for Doom brought me to a fucking channel that d discusses in-depth analysis on the code of various places, including Doom. Okay, and modern it's ports. vintage gamer. And it's ports. Most importantly, the ports of Doom on different consoles, including the SNES and the Amiga 32. Okay. Tell you what, I don't know much about coding. But that, that, was, that shit was easy to understand from the way the guy explained it. And apparently, it's the same guy that ported Doom to PSP, Xbox, uh, or the 360. And one more. Oh, uh, okay. One more place. So he knows what the fuck he's talking about when he uh, discusses the code. And you'd be surprised how fucking... I... Well... Yeah. Apparently, because the SNES doesn't fucking run C... The, the guy coded the uh, recoded Doom without any access to the source code at all. Jesus. On assembly, mind you, it this does not do the C and Doom is in C. I'm fucking looking shit up, and assembly doesn't do trigon uh, trigon. So without any trigonometry, how the fuck are you gonna render shit in Doom? Yeah, because it's not 3D, so it needs a lot of math to actually work. Well, no, games in general need a lot of math to work. The fuck do you mean? I mean math. Uh... Well, yeah, it, they still need math to work. Yeah. The, f the fuck? Shut, it, oh, it always... shut up! Oh, I know it always comes back to math. Don't don't even always. start. And um, yeah, I, I was like, hmm, that's a that's a <laughs> the guy and the guy did it in the, like. Mid nineties, like ninety eight or some shit like that. I can't remember the year. Jesus. So yeah. Uh, so I so I was looking uh, looking for that fucking half hour vi uh, video on the goddamn thing. I was like, what the fuck is this? 
Oh, oh, I, I, what so so as the same person that called it the first fucking emulator for PlayStation One games on PC. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I can see the guy's a fucking genius. I, I can actually see it. it. It makes perfect fucking sense. Still though, what the fuck is this? Yeah, you called it the game without any access to the source port of the fucking SNES using assembly. What? How, sir, <laughs> sir, sir? Are you okay, sir? <laughs> that, that, that took a lot of time, approximately eight months. Yeah. Like that. Speaking of cool Doom channels, I know you know, but people might not go watch Desino. I know. I fucking he, told you to watch Desino. He like breaks. <laughs> he breaks down OG Doom's like mechanics and the way it works and how the engine works and how the AI works, and he See, does it pretty well. And I found out because apparently I'm gonna have to buy myself some books. And one books? of them is about. Oh yeah, books. Good books, great books. Okay. Uh, well, and obviously it's about coding and shit, because <laughs> why not? And one of them is the game engine Black Book of Doom, which breaks down the whole Doom code, all of it, including its source port and all of the ports, including oh, okay. the SNES one. The SNES one. Not that I'm gonna be serious about coding, but I'm actually I actually wanna read through it, because it it looks interesting, fascinating. At least get some insight on in how the thing works. Yeah. The guy also uh, read a follow-up about the Wolfenstein uh, code. Isn't it essentially sort of the same engine, but they reworked it? No, no, it's not. Although, actually, no, it's not. Wolfenstein can only render 90-degree angles, and there's a... Uh, it's... What's it called? It's cone of vision-based. It's not actually... And, uh, no, and no trigonometry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that happened. I was like... What? So I spent the whole week watching his videos. He also goes into hacks, how hacks? specific, uh, how specific consoles were broken, how uh, how things were emulated, stuff like that. How the the defenses were uh, circumvented. Jesus. And shit. Oh yeah, and it's actually pretty easy to understand. You don't need any in-depth knowledge of how to code and shit because he goes and thoroughly explains it using simple words for simple people oh so even I, I even i would understand it the person that has no idea how to code yes so i'm a simple boy i need an explanation but oh did i i, I send you the message didn't I? right before we started the stream folks like i had the uh, i had it up i had the stream up and running before we started recording and we already have one person in the chat and all that person said is, "Want to become famous?" Question mark. Buy well, that's a plot that buy plot. followers, primes, and views on bigfollows.com. Don't go there, kids. It, it's a bot. Yes, I know it's, it's a bot. It just made me laugh. Like, it's been a while since we've had like a, you know, apart from people tuning in and just s sitting around and listening, it's been a while since somebody's actually put words in chat. And I saw that and I went, "Oh, come on, <laughs> give me a fucking break." But. Yeah, so, uh, oh, did you see Sevi's got a new video out? Oh, yeah, I did. I He's got part it. three of uh, the, the Thief bit. I, I need to watch it. Because I finished up watching the film for today before we started. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I bought myself a couple of games. Yes. Because uh, they were dirt cheap. I bought myself System Shock 1, the enhanced version. At least that one's going to work on a modern system, kind of. Well, it always worked. It just doesn't fucking work like a fucking graphics calculator anymore because I remember <laughs> the old days. So I was like, I saw, I saw it back in the days. So I was like, this was like the old age old graphics calculator. Yeah, no, I'm, I'll pass. I'll pass. I don't fucking have time for this shit. And then I saw Mandalore's video. I was like, oh, they fixed this? Well, call me in. Fuck it. Here's the money. Purch purchase the game. Dive. Yeah, here's the money, Night Dive. Oh, it's Night Dive as well. Yeah, they actually oh, stuck good. with the game. Yeah, like, yeah, they stuck with the game because they actually did the official one, and it was like, and it was fucking graphics calculator 2.0. I fucking hate that shit. <laughs> I always hated it. Then yeah, I, it I, I said it last week, and I'll say it again. Night Dive are the current like big boys when it comes to. Ex except get this shit. Apparently, Kingpin is going to get the enhanced three release, and I thought the source code was lost. I. Time uh, and it's not Night Dive doing it. Kingpin game? Oh yeah, Kingpin. Wait, how the fuck people haven't played this game? 
Okay, well, what a, this looks like a first person shooter with a bunch of square boys and a square lady. It looks like it runs on fucking original source engine as well. But but it's not because the source code's lost. It's Quake engine. Oh, it's well, it's, yeah, it's essentially the, the OG yeah, but, source engine. So yeah, but because I, I, I saw the, the I saw the, the was lost. I'm looking so at the model of him holding the M16, and it looks exactly like Counter Strike 1.5. So <laughs> well, Counter Strike started off as a mod in Quake. Yeah, in Quake, not Half Life. Then it transferred into Half Life. Yeah, but it's the same engine. So no, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, no, not exactly, because Half Life is on a modded version of the of the, of the Quake, Quake engine, engine, yeah. But it still retains the same with fucking skeleton with improved skeletal animations, which weren't existent in the original Quake engine before Quake Three, at least. But okay, Kingpin, I didn't even know this game was a thing. Is it? Is it just are you a mafia man shooting people, or what are you? Uh, it's. Uh, uh, it's a game that caused a lot of controversy back in the day. You're a kingpin and has a lot of fucking uh, words in it, and you send your boys to do uh, hoodrat shit. Okay, I see why and... why it might be controversial in a way. Yeah. Uh. And it's I and it was actually pretty fun. It was de it was well designed, but as far as I remember, they lost the fucking source code. But it, it shouldn't be here. Huh. Well, they might they might have found something or like gone off original, you know, mm. I don't know, footage of the game or somebody has the game and they use that. Hmm. Well, we'll I mean, see I'm, how I'm, I'm guessing coders um, and game programs yeah. are so good nowadays they can just get the get a copy oh, okay. of the game and you know. But that's reverse engineering, and reverse engineering is not the same. The source code is the skeleton. It's the actual, yeah, yeah. You can't make games without. Huh. Okay. Did you do anything else? Did you play more uh, Doom? I also, uh, well, I, the other game I bought was Still Six. Mankind Divided, the second game, because it cost like three quid. I was like, oh yeah, that's fuck. that's how much I bought it for as well. Yeah, I was like, fuck it, why not? I mean, it's gonna, I'll probably not play it in the near future, but uh, why not? It's disappointing. It's not bad. I mean, the mechanics are a lot more refined from Human Revolution, and it plays a lot better. But um, it just felt very short, and it felt a lot smaller than Human Revolution. Yeah, um, I mean, it was rushed. Yeah. I played it, I beat it, but again, I just, I don't know how to feel about it. OG Deus Ex is still my favorite one out of all of them. Oh. I went to a wedding. Oh, how was it? It was a good wedding. There was a lot of alcohol. Of me, course. And a lot of tequila. Tequila, that's an interesting choice. Well, luckily, tequila doesn't do anything to me, so <laughs> it just makes me happy. But... Other shots do, so there was a uh, wedding game. You know how people do nowadays, they do the wedding games and... Oh, yeah, I also, we also... Uh, the groom the comes to me and says, do you want to sing karaoke? And I'm like, do I? He goes, shots are at stake. So I was like, okay, let's let's go do the shots. Only to, turn, <laughs> only to turn out that it was a 5v5 guys v girls wedding game where... The guy, we all had to finish three shots each, but you couldn't take your shot before the person before you took theirs and you alternate. And the winner didn't get uh, the winner got a prize, but then we had to sing karaoke with against the girls. And uh, because everybody had already had three shots and it was nicely, you know, shit, it was they, we were we were all nicely lubed up for the singing. Uh, the karaoke was an absolute shit show. But you know, I, I, I I'm not gonna say it wasn't a good time. I, I I'm saying it was a really good time that wedding, or even the karaoke. Uh, cigars were had, and you know. Yeah, well, that's that's nice. And uh, we we just had a good night, and it's nice. It was nice to see friends that I hadn't seen in two years. Oh. Uh, did you finally watch Color Out of Space? Stupid motherfucker. No, I was 
traveling for not. the last few days, so I've not. Oh, of course I, not. I spent most of my time after the wedding just with family because it was my mom's birthday on the 26th on the Sunday. Mm. So we went to a restaurant. So that was nice. So I had a bunch of food, a bunch of really nice food, Jesus Christ. And uh, yeah, the, the last three days I just spent with them and saw some friends on the Wednesday, and I flew yesterday. And let me tell you, I said this on Instagram, but I'll say it here as well. You know how you know you're, you're going to board a flight with Bulgarians? When revolving doors seem to be a difficult thing. Like, I know revolving doors have been around for a while, even in Bulgaria, but when people just stand next to the door and expect it to move, but you have to push it yourself, and then they jam the door up, and then they get out of the revolving door, and they just stand at the very exit to the point where you're forced to push them out the way because they're fucking idiots. That's how you know you're in a flight with Bulgarians. I mean, it's not all, it's not only Bulgarians, obviously, but... <sighs> And then uh, a guy tried to sit in my seat. So I was like, when of course. He, was, he, was, he was ahead of me. And his wife sat a lot further up. And then he went to my row and started going next to the window because all the other window seats were taken. And I'm like, uh, 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 I'm in that seat. He goes, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And then I sat down. He sat down. It was three seats, you know. You know how planes are. It's three and three. Yeah. And, and st instead of sitting one seat away from me, he sat in the middle seat and put his hand on my armrest. And I'm like, the dude, come on. I didn't even say anything. I just put my arm and pushed this out of the way. And then two minutes later, when the plane started filling up a bit more and people were finally already, already on, he got up and went and sat next to his wife. I'm like, why did you make this effort to come all the way down here? And, Try and take my seat, you absolute dipshit. I don't know. Didn't take his fucking lithium. Who knows? I don't know. So, and th there were a bunch of people. Like one of the, luckily, one of the boarding people, one of the, one of the uh, stewards or stewardesses, whatever you want to call them, one of the flight attendants, was a dude who was Bulgarian. So he would go around dealing with all the Bulgarians on the on the plane, telling them to wear their masks properly. Uh, you know, it's funny because I don't wear a mask. Even when you go to the store? For me, going to a store means two minutes in and out, literally. Well, yeah, that, I know, but they're mandatory now, aren't they? And now, and now I, ha <laughs> I have to... <laughs> let, me just, let me just tell you. <laughs> yeah, I noticed, I noticed nobody was giving a shit at the airport because there was a bunch of people without masks and nobody cared. Yeah, I'm best, best I give is to wear a scarf. No, but that, that's still face covering, so... Uh, yeah, that, that's if I plan to go out for more than like two minutes. Yeah, the dude. Because I will not make a fucking attempt for the two, for a two minute trip. No, for not, two minutes, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just saying. I I just don't. At this point, I don't fucking care. Just, people don't no, wear them proper because everybody has their nose out. Oh, oh. And so the dude kept going over to them like, please, please, for the love of God, just. He went up to a guy in Bulgaria and he just looked and went, please, just. Pull the damn mask up. Oh, oh, do you want to see, uh, hear something even funnier? Go on. See, if you might have noticed, uh, A1 Gaming, which is uh, A1 as in the A1, they have hey. a gaming channel and they're streaming the shit on uh, uh, Twitch, but also they are airing stuff on fucking the uh, Max Sports 1. A1, so, the mobile operator, A1. Oh, yeah. Yes. The Bulgarian mobile operator. Mtel. Former yes. Mtel. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good, because I know the people who are making the fucking thing work. Okay. And um, they're, they're streaming uh, the CSGO, uh, uh, not mostly, but this is live. The rest of it is uh, uh, records okay. on League and fucking FIFA and the other shit. Mm -hmm. So uh, they were doing a fucking tournament. And uh, it got ugly. Oh, no. Because, guess why I have such fucking aversion to playing uh, Counter Strike with fellow Bulgarians most of the time? I play like fucking f with like less than ten people Counter Strike from Bulgaria. Do tell, tell, tell me, sir. I want to know. See, typical Bulgarian behavior. You're playing an official fucking tournament with money on the, uh, with money on the, uh, 
with money as your prize pool. And in this case, specific case, it was qualifications for the big fucking nine tournaments. Yeah, with get cash get on the yeah, line. Get, get this shit. So you have a tournament rule that basically states that you have to uh, use your uh, in-game name to be the same as the one you're using in the other official tournaments. So you keep the consistency. It also helps the fucking casters. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Because no, no one's keeping the because uh, no one's keeping any goddamn check on how you're going to rename yourself. But they started renaming themselves. What well, mid game? They, uh, before the, before the game starts. So basically, because uh, it's the best of threes, yeah. usually it's two maps. People just change the uh, change names between maps frequently. It became a complete fucking shit show of keeping track of who's who, who's who. But why would they change? What's the point of changing names? Why bother? Because they're fucking because they're fucking retarded. But you, and, you're just and, playing the videos and, game. And, what, what? And, the, and, and the fucking admin had to intervene. I know who the admin is. And <laughs> fucking fi- literally two sentences from him and everyone fucking changed to their normal names. For good reasons. Christ. Because he, he said that literally he's going to fucking stop the tournament and disqualify all of them. <laughs> Don't comply with this shit. He was done. <laughs> And the casters were out of their fucking minds, and they had to cast the whole thing continuously for 13 hours, like, kinda. Like, around 13 hours, I think, was the whole broadcast. 30 straight fucking hours, and you have to keep track of this shit. Of these mongoloids, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh... Everybody was fucking livid. But yeah, yesterday I and yeah, I caught up on a lot of a lot of CS:GO drama in Bulgaria. It's Ooh, some ugly shit. Speaking of Bulgaria. One, one th- tell you one thing that I did watch. What? I watched season two of Doom Patrol. Okay. And that show is so good that if for anybody that hasn't watched it and likes some weird shit, go watch it. Okay. Because remember how I was telling you about season one being both ha 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 funny and like, oh, my heart is breaking. Yeah, I think I got to level to, to level to episode five, I think something like that, and I just dropped it because I got bored. This season's only seven episodes. Oh, well, expected, and um, they're all fucking stellar. They're like, I don't think I had one episode where I was like, uh, I mean, listen, they have some good actors. I just don't yeah. count the fuck. Honestly, it's really good. They all have enough time to shine. They all have growth. Fucking Cyborg gets a love interest, but he doesn't know what to do with her because he's an idiot. Like, of course he is. Cliff finally reconnects with his daughter, and that's sad. And there's a lot of sadness going on in this season, and there's a lot well, of... There's a, well, they're all supposed to die, okay? Almost all are supposed to die, except two people, so yeah. And there was a lot of hugging and shit like that, and a lot of heartbreak. We had two musical numbers, fucking... Uh, stupid oh, ass meta jokes that go places that you don't expect them to go it's great I also, I also point out that tomorrow I'll be moving places is that tomorrow? yeah it's tomorrow uh, it's supposed to be today but I was like can we do that tomorrow? he was like sure afternoon yep that's fine by me I'm getting a food delivery tomorrow because I'm isolating for two weeks because I'm supposed to do that uh, uh, so that's going to be fun but yeah, man. Uh, well, well, at cool. least at least uh, for the the wrong point with this shit. Yeah, for once, took him long enough. I had to sign a sign a sign a waiver and everything, but not a waiver, but like a declaration of of sorts. Um, I played a bunch of Titanfall two earlier today just to see how it runs. Now that I've reset my la- laptop setup here, I've ele- I finally elevated my laptop, and it makes such a huge difference. Welcome to the fucking first world. Well, no, because I I never used to, <laughs> but th- this w- this one has very low legs because obviously has to has to bend all the way around, so it's a so it stays flat. So I've just what put a little. What are you doing there? This is step laptop. <laughs> what are you doing? So I've put a little a little box underneath it, and all the because all the vents are on the bottom, and it honestly does like I was playing it in Bulgaria, playing Titanfall in Bulgaria in my lap, trying to like keep it ventilated but every now and then it will choke you know like it will start heating up a bit more than it should and the frame rate will drop that's what she said hey. but now I haven't had that issue like at all and yeah. again Timefall 2 is a really good game if the people in your team kind of know what they're doing and not when the other team has no titans up 
and only, you know, the, say the other team has one Titan up. It shows you on the little top of the hood there. There's a Titan icon. And we have three Titans ready to go. Nobody pops their Titan and they just keep running into theirs with their anti-Titan weapons getting killed. And, that, and we lose the game because they're idiots. And then because it's matchmaking, you can't join a game like a session that's still going. People will rage quit. And it happened earlier where we were six versus three. And you can't do shit against that. And we really want it because of me, but I'm just going to, you know, but that's just me. So, yeah, go play Titanfall 2. That's a really good game. A mm. part, uh, oh, 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 sorry, Cryptic Passage. Oh, wow. Which level are you on? Wait, is it Cryptic Passage or is it the... Hold on. Postmodern? Post yes, that's the one I started. Good. Which um, level are you on? Right. The, the water one. Ah, the water one. Oh my fucking <laughs> god! See, this is this is why this level took me like a fucking week to beat uh, beat normally. Mind you, I wasn't fucking saving midway through the fucking level. I only just got the fire key. That's the first key. No, that's the, the, the other... skull key. Is the first one. Oh, was it? I yeah, you got the skull to go all the way around to get the fire one after lot, like raising a bunch of platforms and shit. Oh yeah, I think I kind of skipped that one. Um. Actually. I cleared everything and just went back and picked it up when everything was dead. It's probably why it took me so such a long time to the do. The warehouse just before that. The last thing I expected I was as I was heading to the exit was fucking Shiog to come from around the corner. Like luckily I I, I quick saved just as I opened the big gate. Wait, Shiog's easy. You fucking pitch for those busters. No, like, but, but I was I was low on health and forgot I had a doctor's bag. Okay. And so I'm running Duck. to the exit, and all of a sudden I just hear the noise that he makes. And he swipes once and kills me, and I'm like, oh, you little fucker. So that's a, you know, uh, reload, and that I killed him in pretty quick. But that, that those waterworks right now after <laughs> you get the fucking, like I fell in the water once, and I'm like, I can get out of this. Oh, there's only tiny platforms, and there's a cultist shooting me from underneath the water. I'm like, oh. And you can't see him. And it's more than one. Him. And it's a hit scan. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> right. Reload the bit, because I saved just before I went into the actual bit where there's a lot of water. And I'm like. Then you realize that uh, you can't avoid the water. You have to go inside yeah, the water. Yeah. And I'm like, right. Let's get the akimbo that's just at my feet. Kill everything that's on the surface. And then I'm like, okay, I still have a bit of my diving suit left. Let's jump in. Killed by Gilbies. <sighs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's also a trip, man, because depending, depending on where you land. Yes, because it's <laughs> three possible places where you can uh, go, and they all have something. I fucking hate that. I'm like, that let's so try this much. again. Let's jump around on the little platforms above the water, get all the weapons above them after I've killed everything. All right, I've jumped down, killed by the one hit scanner that I didn't, didn't manage to kill, and he fell in the water at some point. I'm like, okay. I fucking Try this again. Boy. Kill them all again. Make sure nobody falls in the water. Jump down, killed by Gil Beast again. I'm like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> kill them all again. Chuck a bunch of dynamite in the water. Hear, hear a bunch of Gil Beasts die. Jump in, got killed by the tiny fish. You know, the, okay, that's, that, yeah, that's a shameful display. Yeah, that, that was very shameful. And then I finally got it, picked up the, di the extra diving suit, went all the way around, and I'm like, this was literally an effort for the one key. And now that I got the one key, I'm, at, I'm on the next bit with the little tiny corridors with hit scanners at the end of them and a bunch of dudes with Tesla guns. So that's... Oh, oh that, that was fun. No, no, that's actually easy. Yeah, ex fucking, except yeah, for yeah, the yeah. ones that except for the ones that you don't notice that are shoved in windows right above you, and you, you just hear pew, 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 and you die. And I'm like, oh, he was up there all the time, the whole time he was there. So, yeah. I actually have issue with that part. I only had issue with the water. Dynamite now is a, a good friend. Dynamite has always been a good friend. You can't beat the game without dynamite. Yeah. I do what the game gives you free fucking forms of dynamite. Yeah. Dynamite is. Do you know what? See, you I don't what? like the. Speaking of three forms, I don't like the motion, the motion ones. You know the ones. Oh, that the you proximity ones. Yeah. Oh, uh, I've made them. I, I feel you, like you, half the time they don't trigger. Well, you need to position them perfectly. See, the thing is, 
I actually can't really speak because in GZ, blood, I had DNA issues with them. But they're so fucking niche, I usually use them as a last result. Last, last yeah, result. Yeah, I'll, I'll usually throw them in crowds and just shoot them. Uh, if I don't feel like wasting dynamite, but... I just throw... Well, I just set up a job, run around, trigger some fucking cultists, run back up. Yeah. Just wait. Sit and wait, it's boring. It's shit. I only did that like twice. Also, uh, with the risk of sounding like a shitty millennial, uh, Tesla gun is Bay. Of course. Tesla gun yeah. is my is my fucking is the best waifu that you can have. Fuck them other waifus. Tesla gun is best waifu. Mm. After the voodoo doll, actually. Honestly, the napalm launcher. The alternate the alternate fire of the napalm launcher. <laughs> No, I actually never used it all it was just for shits and giggles. I used it in the corridor once to just clear the whole corridor in one. I'm like, oh, well, that was good. It usually, hap it usually happens with two napalm blasts. True. Then again, you need, you, you need to actually properly put them. I only used it once to see... Uh, I used it once in Thin Ice to see how it actually worked. <laughs> of all the places to use it in Thin Ice... No, oh, that was a big fucking room with a lot of quotas. I was like, yeah. whatever, I have uh, a lot of napalm. Sure, let's see what it does now. See, w oh, one, one thing I like about the about postmortem is the amount of flares you get given. See, I never actually like the flare gun much. I use the flare gun on zombies. When I I'm only use the before. alternate fire on it when I'm fighting gargoyles. And if I see a cultist from a mile away and I see I, a few more around him, I'll just alternate fire and kill them all in one go. I, 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 I don't do that. I just, uh, with the gargoyles, I used one napalm blast and I'm out. I think I've got about 70-something 70, 70 fucking flares right now. Because I've barely used the thing. Because I, I always like the shotgun. I think it's my favorite weapon in the game. But... Oh, it's the workhorse. It's the actual workhorse of the game. See, in old school uh, uh, FPSs like this, usually it's the machine gun as the workhorse. It's the crowd control one for the skit scanners, the snipe stuff. Not in blood. In blood for me, it's always the shotgun. The shotgun kills everything. Doesn't matter what it is. Shotgun is bay. Best shotgun in game. You can fuck me out, me at that. Yeah. You 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 can talk about the SSG in the, uh, in the Doom. I don't care. It's always no. Be I've always uh, I said it last time. Uh, the blood shotgun is the best one. I still think it is. Is the best no, one. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it is the best one. The double fire, the the fucking regular fire, the speed at which it reloads, the way it, the animations, everything is perfect about that gun. So good. It's like complete people have actually worked on a project for oh, once. Imagine yeah. that. Yeah. But Speaking of competent of people, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the saboteur. Uh, the game was highly overhyped. I really want to play it though. I really want to play it, and it's on GOG, and there's no DRM on it, and it works really it, well. Well, it's. Well, it's basically GTA and fucking World War II. It's nothing special. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just eh. I also want to point out. Yeah. Do you know a fun thing? No. Something you probably. You know the game Heretic, probably my favorite. Yes. Game. You know the game has actual physics in it. Physics is in. See. If there is a strong current against you and you shoot a projectile weapon, uh, uh, if the projectile weapon is not set with a, uh, with an actual value, it can even go backwards. Oh, I mean you. actual physics, not not actual. not the science of physics. The actual physics okay. in the game. But that that's like I've only I have only said it's like only a couple levels you can trigger this. And ironically, I've only did, did it once or twice and didn't even notice it back in the day because I know exactly which level you can do it consistently. Okay. But yeah, that's the Doom 1 engine. That's it Tech 1. Sorry, it was it Tech 2. I think it was it Tech 2. Don't quote me on that. It has actual physics on it. I was like, oh my fucking god, how I remember this. What the fuck? No wonder I actually like the game so much. Yeah, okay, okay, I didn't, I didn't, yeah. Physics in a fucking 20-year-old 20, 20 game, 23-year-old 20, game, 24, I can't remember. Too lazy to check. The, which also translates to Hexen, even though in Hexen I don't think it actually works at all. Because it's the same engine. Huh. Oh, I played, I played a bit more Wolfenstein too. 
Did you finally finish the fucking game? Uh, I uh, kind of nearly there, but there were a few things. Mm -hmm. I bugged out the boss that I'm at right now. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I bugged him real bad, but yeah, that boss fight against the powered up dude where you have to destroy crystals. Mm -hmm. It's a shit boss fight. It's well, a it's a okay. terrible boss it, fight. To be fair, I struggle to think of one FPS game that had actually had good boss fights. Yeah, like gen genuinely good boss fights, not shoot it till it dies. Yeah, it's a the most non-existent meme in existence. If you don't know, that's a Doom meme that never actually happened. <laughs> no, no, this is no joke. Apparently there is a screenshot, a faked out screenshot from an article from a very old uh, IGN. I think it was IGN, I'm not even sure about that. That's a, That shows a cyber demon, it goes down, pro tip, shoot the cyber demon till it dies. Yeah, that, that's a pro tip with the cyber demon, literally. Yeah, but here's the thing. That never happened. No one actually posted that shit. <laughs> but it's a well-known meme. This is the shoot until it dies. It's a pro tip. It's just, don't ask me. Even I was like, what the fuck? I mean, sh I mean, alternatively, you can punch it till it dies. It's always a thing. It's actually really easy. Okay. You should try it. I challenge yourself. Sh I shall challenge myself. But uh, you use the berserk to speed up the process. I think uh, without the berserk tower, just between the hundred and hundred fifty hits, okay. somewhere between those numbers. Other than that, I reinstalled myself Pathfinder Kingmaker and bought myself all of the DLCs I skipped because I didn't know they're out. Game's still good. Although it's confusing me because it's the Pathfinder system and that system is not easy. To understand so many abbreviations, so much shit, so little explanations. And uh, I genuinely like the characters, even though half of them are basically sexually assaulting me at any one point. <laughs> I like Isn't them, but they right? assault you know, me sexually. <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even kidding. It's basically this couple that's on and off of a bisexual male half well, what, What's the name of the game? A Pathfinder, Kingmaker. Oh, right. Uh, it's a bisexual half orc. Male with his companion slash partner, bisexual half elf female, Wait, and they constantly what? come on me for some reason. Oh, they even come I'm, on, yeah. Oh, 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 the, oh, oh yeah. No, especially, oh. The, especially the male. The male was fucking aggressive. Right. Is, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it essentially like Diablo or is it like uh, XCOM? No, it's not. It, neither. It's neither. Or is it uh, like Baldur's and, Gate? And the, it's just. And the thing I actually hate about this is not, it's not the fact that he does that. Okay, okay, fine. It's not the fact that he constantly cocks me into having a threesome with them, which is fucking worth <laughs> so many reasons. A threesome with the that, orcs, yeah. With, uh, orc and half elf, fuck. A threesome it's with half, magical half creatures. Orc and half elf. It's, it's not the fact, it's the fact that rejecting the, the orc is one of the most, how should you put it, aggressive things I've, I've done. <laughs> I even I was like, <laughs> you sit there, you haven't, you haven't judged shit about him like this at all. You've asked him a couple of questions about him. He's like, oh yeah, sure. Though. Oh, by the way, I actually like you. If you want to, you can have a threesome with me and my uh, partner. And you're like, uh, no, thank you. But, but you don't appreciate it. Still, you have to give him a different advice in between, and goes between, yeah, sure, I'll sleep with you to fuck off, you fucking asshole. I was like, yeah, duh, duh. Can I just politely say no, thank you, and just move on? Because right. never... so how does this game play? I'm looking at it, and is it like Baldur's Gate then, kind of? Uh, no, but then again, you haven't played Pillars of Eternity. Also, fuck Pillars of Eternity. It's a mix between the turn-based and uh, real time. Yeah, that, that's what I'm looking at, and it's but just it's, confusing it's a, me. Yeah, it, it's not. It's actually pretty easy. Although the game is really fucking hard. Okay. Uh, instead of that, I decided to stick with a tiefling that has two souls bound to one body. So basically, it's like having a threesome and cheating at the same time. Don't ask me. It's weird. It's weird. But I fucking love it. <laughs> oh, I bought I bought Sticks Master of Shadows. Oh, yeah, I have that game. It was very cheap, so I just bought it on sale. Yeah, it's pretty decent for the most part. I, I, it's I, kind of... what, what? What is it? I don't think you can actually do a true... Uh, uh, true shadow uh, gameplay. You need to actually kill shit. 
Oh, which you, kind you, of... you can't do full, full on stealth. You, you have to actually. Yeah, and that kind of pisses me off because. You already know, it's like you give me a stealth game, damn sure, damn sure I'm gonna try and do true stealth. Full stealth, yeah. True stealth, it's true, because it's true. It's the only way to play the, these games, nothing else matters. Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention last week, Grant Imahara passed away. Uh-huh. You remember Mythbusters? Yeah, I never actually was a big fan of the show. Yeah, so. the, the dude that fixed R2-D2 in the prequels, he passed away. I will send you the uh, his picture, and you'll know who he is. Uh, I, I guess. I was a big fan of MythBusters. I didn't expect the man to pass so I, soon. I, but... I, I wasn't. I never cared for the show. It was just basically to... oh, you should have said Asian guy from MythBusters. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, jokes aside, I was never actually a big fan of MythBusters. It just always bored me. Yeah, All I the can't time. Yeah, but half the time, I already knew which was going to be fake and which was going to be true. It just became filler. <laughs> half, the time, half the time, I swear to God, they were just making up shit just so they have uh, episodes. Fish, uh, fish in a Barrel one's still pretty good, though. I mean, not all of them are bad. Well, they I shot just... the Fish in the Barrel and nothing happened because water stops bullets. But, you know. Imagine that. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, well, that is sad because... In the fans of the show should be our book. The guy was kind of young. He was, was young like, well, and he, he was a fucking genius as well. I never doubted their fucking ability in physics. I just found the goddamn the idea of the show just boring. Because imagine, imagine this: you having a fucking PhD in physics and apply in any type of applied science, and you end up doing fucking child experiments for money. Yeah, that that kind of stinks. At least Passed for me. Forty nine. Oh Jesus, forty nine. Yeah. Big yikes. Also, uh, who else? Uh, there was another person. Uh... About, about the whole the thing, I genuinely enjoyed the interactions they had in between in the in the show. Yeah. The main two guys and the side three chicks. <laughs> well, Grant Which Grant was one of the three chicks. So. Yeah, I know. I know. He was one of the three chicks. It, they when they were working together, they. Never really clicked, but they were working separately with three, the, the three chicks yeah. together, uh, the main two guys. It it, they, it always clicked because they were playing off each other really well. And I fucking enjoyed that part, but that's about it. Still, though, sad. True. Because some, uh, some of the lengths they go to to prove something is either true or false was downright fucking amazing. Like, they sit there and think of the, all those... Uh, elaborate schemes just to make sure that uh, they will give you the most inclusive result, and that's how we actually do shit. Don't you? even in math, you prove the general case, or you just prove that the general case is uh, not possible, but a private, but a private special case is. Yeah. Also, Olive, uh I'm gonna butcher her name, but Olivia Du Havilland, she's an actress, uh, passed Ooh. away at 104. Who? She's one of the golden age uh, black. Sure, but... She she's from Gone with the Wind. Oh, yes. I was the double with ages. So, uh, yeah, she she passed away at a hundred and four. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, yeah. Hush, hush, sweet oh, Charlotte. Teacher's own. The Adventures of Robin Hood. The, I mean, the Harris. There's... She's yeah. She's big. But 104, that's, that's, pretty, that's, that's a long life. That's what, was, oh, that's what I was going to say. Fucking God bless. Jesus. Yeah. Started acting at 17. Of course she did. In, in the dark ages of in fucking Hollywood. 1933. In the dark ages of Hollywood. Where yeah. No one talks about what the fuck happened behind the scenes. No, that's also pretty true. Jesus. That's also addressed in season two of Doom Patrol. Ha ha. Well, let's just say the times were different. Boy, the, just, boy, were they. It, this is why it's like, oh, it's the 80s. Yeah, it's the 80s. Like, what the fuck do you expect? Like, it's just decency? Normal yeah. stuff? Or fucking what? Also, a free-to-play RPG is coming to Steam. Which one? It is called... Since... Oh, no, no. What's it called again? Cyberpunk Dreams... 
sounds like a visual novel. No, it's not. It's I think it's more turn based of sorts. I, I was reading about it on PC Gamer. It, it's uh, there's it can have there's it's beta sign up for it right now. <sighs> Just, uh... See how my friends are waiting for Ashes of Creation to come out because they want oh, the to play. I've been playing a bit of Smite, more Counter Strike lately because, of course. Played Dota last night, didn't go well. <laughs> uh, I, I just. We need to play the fucking adventure again. Yeah. Also because it's, it's so fucking stupid, might as well. It's pretty fun. Uh, that's the one thing that's interesting. And the other is Anthem that, that we talked about. Uh -huh. Um is finally getting news about what's going to happen in its update cycle and oh what, yeah the, the re and the redesign the yeah from the ground up the game was a shit show it was got a friend of mine he was like it's he, he, he's i mean he said that the combat's fought but that's about it and i do get it because it looked it looked crisp and clean but there's no substance behind it what the fuck are we doing here yeah, they, they've addressed everything from the factions to the loot drops to basic mechanics being better. So, I mean, it took them like, what, four fucking years at this point? Might as well when did Anthem started. come out? Like two years ago or some shit like it, this. It came out around the time we started the podcast, didn't it? Ja yeah. yeah, January 25th, 2019. And we started earlier in January. Yeah, basically almost two years now. No, it's been a year, give or take. But it was in uh, it, it was in development hell for a really long time. So, so you know, uh, good on him, I guess. No, because this shit should have happened fucking ages ago. The, yeah, the game's dead. Maybe EA should have left them to do their job properly instead of meddling with it. So another point of positive news: Ubisoft will start making different games now, allegedly. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get this shit. Apparently, the reason why every game Ubisoft been releasing in the past decade or so was the same is because sure. the uh, because the the person behind the games one of was only is a under CEO that had almost the most unparalleled amount of power, and his yes or no meant that the game would go, would, would have been greenlit or not. So he's the reason why, why technically we've been getting a lot of the same shit. He oh. says that means that the the, the shit, the shit uh, means that the shit they're gonna release is gonna be literally shit. And they fired him because uh, stuff came out and it was not pretty. Yep. Not pretty at okay. all. Okay. Oh, Ubisoft. Oh, Ubisoft. Hey, listen. If I, if I'm able to get. Uh, uh, decent games from Ubisoft might as well take please please for fuck's sake do not give me Beyond Good and Evil prequel just, just give me a sequel no one wants a prequel you stupid stupid Beyond Good and Evil is, that, that's the that's the cartoony one that got the hyper realistic sequel didn't yeah, it that we're, no, supposed to, well, we're supposed to be getting a hyper realistic one well, with a no. bunch of swearing and shit like well, that well, the game was never actually at the PC stage, so that's fine by me. No, I know, but the new one is like extra edgy, almost laughably edgy. No, oh, no, don't think so. <laughs> I personally don't think so. But the the thing is that uh, the game, the it, it's gonna be a prequel, and no one wanted the prequel, we wanted the sequel to the game. And the the sheer fact that it's not gonna have is like, uh, it's hurtful. Very hurtful. Yeah. Fuck it. What do we know about what the fans want, huh? Well, nothing. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> anyway. I gave other you... than that, yeah. uh, other oh. than that uh, I haven't actually checked other shit. Just double check if there are any new uh, trailers out. I, I looked at stuff, but I d couldn't find anything of, of note or of interest, so to speak. Huh. Uh, Russian movie called Sputnik. I think we discussed this at some I point. I think we did, yes. Uh, a couple of just survived pretty this door and I was in centigrade. Oh, shifting Not my chair. chair. <laughs> there we go. Dave Franco shows potential as director. David... Oh, the rental. Yeah, I watched the, the rental. I bet I kind of fell asleep how, uh, in the first 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
I wasn't particularly uh, thrilled by it, but I'll probably check it out in, uh, afterwards and see how it is. Cool. A movie called Spree, which... Let me just check. The... No, it's a fun footage movie. You're not going to enjoy it. Probably not. I mean, I have enjoyed a, I have enjoyed a few that we've actually talked about, so, you know, you never know. No, this looks sh like shit. Ah, well. Basically, he's vlogging the shit. Oh, no, no thanks. I'd rather watch a real vlog, even though I none of them are real anymore, and they're all fake. I also think it's in the style of a... Uh, of an Uber driver. Then hell no, Jesus. Hey, let's be topical about this picture. Mm. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, Robo, great. What? Movie called Amulet. I think I remember seeing this movie. Amulet movie. I mean, not seeing it. 2020. An ex-soldier living homeless in London is offered a place to stay at a decaying house inhabited by a young woman and her dying mother. As he starts to fall for her, he, he, not, blah, blah, blah. he cannot ignore his suspicion that something sinister is going on. Hell, I'll tell you that. It's the ex the uh, synopsis on IMDb is hell of a lot better than the ones on Netflix. Have you ever read a synopsis on Netflix? Yes. They're all They're shit. Tremendous. Every single There's one of them. Yeah, I know. It's fucking hilarious. I'm not sure that I don't particularly like Netflix. Yeah. I think I have. Looks like a possession movie. It probably is. Dying mother, blah, blah, blah. I don't hate it. Could be actually <laughs> half decent. At this point, I, I'll settle for half decent. <laughs> yeah, uh, Last week you gave me a sequel to The Curse. Which is it's half decent the best. Uh -uh. See, the movie is confusing. And this follows the trend, especially in the 80s, when a movie that overperforms and does way, way better than it's expected uh, gets a sequel, but the sequel has nothing to do with the original. It's basically an other movie that people knew it was going to be shit. And an easy way to make money is to tie it into something that has no fucking place. Yep. Because let's face it, movie last week was pretty good. Not amazing, but still pretty good. I'm going to say it right here right now. Cheesy 80 shit. Uh, so the movie starts with... Uh, Couple. Okay. Yes. I need to bring the IMDb page. That's, on what, that's I, what I'm gonna do as well. Because I forgot the names. I honestly forgot how the shit that happened in this movie. I watched it before we started, and I, I've already forgotten most of it. So. Uh, Clark and, and Lisa. Yes. And they are running through. They are not running. No. No. They're they're on a they're on a field trip, is what they are. Yeah. Wait. Why do I get only the first movie here? Uh, you have to, yeah, literally write down the curse. I, curse. I. Oh uh, God! Yeah, yeah. Jesus, this is one of those. Yeah, I found it. And they're going through the south, being all the uh, dopey and uh, stupidly on a car, and they run through a fucking uh, on the road. A lot of snakes on the road. Yeah, run through them. Also, for some reason, they have a lot of birds in their car, which is never actually explained as to why the fuck do they have a lot of birds in the car, whatever. Yeah. Oh, no, they had the birds there, but why were the birds there? We don't know. They're just a plot bit for later when he eats the birds. Yeah. Uh, uh, they start panicking because you can't just fucking uh, drive through the fucking snake pit, snake nest, snake fucking... Yeah, they're like, why are, the, why are these snakes here? They shouldn't be here. Damn, most people would not fucking care for this shit but whatever yeah and did they, they stop at the gas station the gas station attendees talking to weird shit they, 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 they used to do the nuclear experiments up the road from here yeah and he has a dog but the dog is dead the poor papa yes it got bit by a snake but it was too late and it was like don't they have fucking uh, uh, anti-poisons for this shit uh, yeah. but I was like it just 
it doesn't work that way. Don't go, it's don't bad. go back there. Don't go back in my back shed. And the guy obviously goes in the back shed. Uh, yeah, and sees the doggo, but not really. But the doggo is mutated into a snake doggo. Which, which then kills the attendant after the couple has already left. Yeah, and we never see the doggo again, I think. I'm not oh, yeah, sure. and while they're at the gas station, a snake gets into the car. I... How, what, why, do what? We don't uh... know, but it was a snake that was apparently so radioactive that it bit the man. And oh, bit... that's how, also, also that's how. Yeah, the snake oh. bites him and they go to this motel. And he's like, oh, I've been bit by a snake. And the owner or salesman, whatever the hell he is, he's like, I know everything about snakes. I'll give you the cure. And he gives them the wrong one, apparently. Or that's what he says. And then he starts chasing him around the, around the state to find him, to, to give him the right cure before the man sues him out the ass. I, I swear, that, that looked like a fucking East comedy. To be, to be fair, the, the whole bit in the, in the uh, motel... And afterwards, when there's just the characters from the motel talking, that's a comedy. Yeah. And the guy starts slowly turning into a snake, including no, no, him. It's just his arm that turns into a snake at first. Oh, his whole psyche changes into a snake. Yeah, yeah. And the snake has a penchant of uh, getting people's hearts through their mouths. Don't ask me how. Don't I don't understand. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But it's all very sudden, though. It's not, there's nothing subtle about it. It's all of a sudden he's just like, I'm angry now. There's a snake in my hand. And then, well, every, no, 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 but then the every time, every time the snake comes out, he's like, Oh no, I have a snake in my hand. Oh no, no what will I do? No, because uh, in, in the in the bit in the nightclub, he becomes obviously agitated. He was the first, the first person. Yeah. Uh, he uh, slaps uh, his girlfriend for no reason. Well, yeah. Yes. And then, then again, she, I. And then she yells at him. He's like, "Oh, I'm sorry." I mean, I'd also probably fucking dump her ass immediately because she was about to fucking sleep with another man. Yeah. Also, then we get one of the most awkward things I've ever witnessed in my life. It, it, no, wait, sorry. Imagine you having to cross the whole of the fucking U.S. to get to her parents for her to sleep with some other dude in front of you, yeah. and then and make it look like it's you were at fault the whole time. I don't, I don't think she was oh. gonna do it. Well, I think she just wanted to dance, and he was just being a killjoy. Oh, I don't know. That part, that part was so fucking wonky, so many levels. I don't know, but we get to the most awkward thing ever. Don't get me wrong, Jim Sholin, uh, Jill Sholin, not Jim. Jill Sholin is a very attractive lady. And she still is, mind you, but we get to the bit where she's driving and he is sat in the passenger's seat and um, it's his left uh, hand that's been bit and it's all bandaged up. And then he starts giving her what is essentially the road finger with his bandaged up hand. There's a close-up yeah. of her legs. They're all naked because she's wearing like a, a low, like a very low-hanging top and like shorts. And then he starts finger banging her on the <laughs> on the road with his band bandaged hand, which would be incredibly unpleasant. And then they go and have the sex, and they're, they're all made up now. I mean, it could. I mean, she might like it rough. Who are we to judge? I, uh, that's when he eats the birds, or maybe the hand ate the birds. I'm not sure. It's, no, this movie doesn't make a lot of sense because his hand turns into a snake, then he cuts it off, but the snake regrows because. Nah. because well, yeah, stay there. No, that's that's what lizards do, not snakes. But. Eh, yeah, literally. Uh, we we do get this really funny scene though in the in the motel where they're like, "Oh, I gave that man the wrong antidote." Oh, and they kill they they find the dead snake that the girl kills in the bed, and he's like, "Oh, this snake! It's all at all. It's only it only ha, it only exists on the western hemisphere." And the other guy goes, "Oh no!" But what what's he doing here? And he goes, "Billy, this is the western hemisphere." Oh, oh, <laughs> I knew that. Oh uh, yeah, uh, this all exists in the western hemisphere. Why don't we just said the fuck exists here, man? What the fuck? Yeah, but that was kind of weird. It was funny, uh, but weird at the same time. And then we get the weirdest scene in the film where the guy starts phoning up truckers, and he's like, all right, truckers, you will tell oh, me where this Jeep is. Oh, yeah. 
to be fair, that was kind of funny. That no, that was funny because it was very well edited, very well put together. But it was still like incredibly out of place in this film. It feels like they wanted to make two different films and they just kind of stitched them together. Yeah. Uh, what else? I mean, it's not actually much else because the movie continues all those. They go to the pilot's house. He's already degrading mentally and physically. Yeah. Barely holding it. Then and she, by this point, she should have like realized it because he gets arrested even. Yeah. And, and then he just comes back to her and she's like, oh, okay, I guess or I guess we're gonna... <laughs> and, then, yeah, and then and then he goes like, listen, I'm turning it off. He's like, oh, no worries. No worries. It's all gonna be alright. You're just hallucinating shit. And I'm like, the fuck, woman? You're like, that's not how... <laughs> lady, lady. Lady, he's barely fucking keeping it together. The man yeah. has the dead eyes and he's looking at you like he's gonna destroy you with with his eyes. You know, it's it's a bit... It's uh, this is the bail moment. Yeah, it's just bail. this is the moment where you're like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the toilet, and then you jump in that jeep and never come back. Leave him where he is. Um, you were willing to bail on him to dance with somebody else. You might as well bail on him because you're because he's about to fucking eat you because he's a snake man. Mm -hmm. He's been acting weird the whole time, and she's like, oh, I guess oh. I'll I'll let him finger me in the car. And then he ends up killing her father, and that becomes one of the weirdest and most awkward chase scenes I've seen in my entire life, where he stole it because it was a snake, and the effects are they're actually kind of shit. There's close-ups and stuff that don't look terrible, but then every time it's, mo it's in motion, and you can see him, you're like, nope. Oh, that looks bad. That looks very bad. Like, the, yeah. the, the first curse had some bad effects, but for the most part, they were good. Or passable, where you where also the, the first because I think had lower budget than this, uh, yeah, um, which is the, the yeah thing. Other than that, uh, and then he turns into a full snake and she's trudging through this mud hole. And yeah, the uh, how did, also, how did they end up in that hole? I forget. I she went through the sewers because, of course, she did because a big the, sewer, the sewer count has to increase. Oh yeah, and, uh, there was this big fucking tunnel that um, with a fence, and she drops down, and it's all mud, and she can't move because yeah. fuck quicksand. And also, the snake was making weird noises the whole time, even though snakes are incapable of making those noises. I I don't know. Well, like See, the hand snake was making weird noises, even, and that's a hand snake. How is it making noises? Listen, I, I can excuse this because still technically like fucking the uh, radioactive shit. So, mm, yeah. uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to live with that. But uh, the, the fucking final snake where he turns into a complete snake because... Eh? Yeah, it was alluded and to earlier gets, with the dog, but it's still stupid. Also, he gets shot in the head and so okay, even though he fucking regenerates the part that he cut off. So it's like, what? But... No, the, and then the movie that's a hole. Again. Yeah, the movie just ends. It's like it's like well, if Michael Myers was complete fucking shit. <laughs> Literally, if, yeah. if Michael Myers was incompetent. Literally, also I want to point out that Michael Myers got beaten, exploded, set on fire, set on fire. fire. Uh, rammed uh, a lot of fucking things, and the guy still got up. And this guy and, and this person just and this jab in the eye, yeah, shot in the eye. You mean twice? In all five. Did he get jabbed in the eye with a knife uh, or like an electrical socket? No, plugged, not plugged. She, uh, no, in the second movie, she, no, uh, she, uh, she shot him in the eye, both eyes, and the guy was still moving. And good here we films, have the Halloween films, good films. Yeah, and, and and here we have this shit show. I was like, uh huh, sure. This one just feels like it set up a bunch of pretty cool shit and then didn't execute on it at all and just forgot what it set up as well and just went, ah, I, it's, it, it, it killed him. He's dead. Yeah, I genuinely preferred the beginning of the movie. It felt like it wasn't that bad. Yeah, up, the, up until the bit where he eventually starts killing people, just before the awkward fingering, it was pretty enjoyable. It was fine. The, synth, the, the 80s synth wave score and the weird ass characters and the birds and the there there were there there was character with it 
Well, then the moment the first kill happens, the movie just goes to shit. Because all of a sudden, everybody's acting like a character of what they were before that. I don't know how to put it. it it's just... It's not good. It's just not good. The movie was fucking terrible. It's more like... It's this disappointing level of terrible. It's not like it's offensively bad. It's not... Uh, it's not how she put it... Boringly bad. Like some other movies. This is just... There is missed it's, opportunities. How do I put it? It's... it's uh... Underwhelming. It's... Yes. Underworld. Yeah, like you raised my expectations a little, and then you just shat on them. Uh, so for next week, are we gonna do another theme month? Would you like to do another theme month? Because we're kind of stuck in the eighties right now. I mean, Yoko, it's your turn to call shit. I already called like fucking the last three times. So let's recap. We've done apocalypse films. We've done zombie films. We've done terrible films. We've done found footage. We've done the 80s. We've done horror twice. You know what? Let's go with hidden gems. How about that? Oh, give me a minute. I'm talking about films that kind of went under the radar. And people kind of know about them, but they don't know if they're good or not. And... You know, we can talk about that type of film. Oh, 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 I think I have one. I'll keep this one. Yeah, let's go with Hidden Gems. Give me a minute. I can't... I, 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 I need... I can, I, it can be a full-blown full, full blown production. It can be a little indie film. But we're talking about Hidden Gems. Okay. Uh, movie for next week is The Monster 2016. The Monster... 2016. Oh, okay. A divorced mother and her headstrong daughter must make an emergency late night road trip to see the girl's father. As they drive through desert country roads on a stormy night, they suddenly God, have a stormy collision. <laughs> take, <laughs> take me, me home, home to the to place me. I belong. Oh, West, yeah. West Virginia. Take me home, country road. Okay, then. The monster. Tw 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 2016 shall be watched for next week. Huh? Yes. I think you enjoy it. It's pretty good. It's from A24. It's an A24 production. If it's an A24 production, it's probably going to be really good. Well, in that case... I was looking for an excuse to give you this movie. Well, not everything that Data 24 did was great, but no, most of it. No, true, but for the most part, they, they're all <laughs> good films. Yeah, Dusk is an A24 movie. Right, at, le at least they're films with a vision, and they're not studio-mandated films. They yeah, just let the director do their thing. Yeah, that's why we have Tusk. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Tusk. I watched the documentary <laughs> about that film, and Kevin, Kevin Smith was like, I can't believe A24 of all people decided to fund us, but... And the green room is also there. Also, for the record, I fucking hate that movie. Yeah. Regardless, let us end the podcast for the evening. And also, it comes oh. at night. Movie that fucking blue balled me for half year. It comes at night. It comes at night. Yeah. Oh, what was that about? I have a little idea as to how I explain it. It's it's not great. I mean, I've heard about it. Why? Why? Because it's the first one. That's oh yeah, 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 yeah! I remember this film. Yeah, that was blue bolt me for a very long time. It's not. It's not great. It's not bad, but it's it does the most cardinal sins. It blue balls you. Yeah. It literally it leads you because I was expecting something truly terrifying and horrific, then make actually any fucking sense. Yeah. But no, no, it do it didn't. It literally just made no fucking sense at all. Oh, the it witch! You know, I might actually watch that film again. Uh, I didn't particularly like the witch as much. I know people did, but I was like fucking bored halfway through. I don't know why. Probably because I'm just too tired of those slow burners at this point. Oh, Green Room. That's the Anton Yelchin's last film, I think. But then again, Swiss Army Man. <laughs> <laughs> Parts. 
Well then, mm-hmm. is this us for tonight, for the evening? Yes. Very good. In that case, uh, thank you all for listening, watching, tuning in, all that crazy shit that you people do. Find us on all the usual spots. Find us on Spotify. Find us on uh, Deezer, YouTube, Facebook, Wooshka, all those places, and Apple Podcasts. I always forget to say that one. Uh, and next week, we're going to talk about the monster, 2016. Yeah. Twit, 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 twit. twit. I feel like give it this shit. Good. I, too, have a hidden gem for you. So. I genuinely enjoyed this movie. I shall give you my hidden gem next week. On the Voices from Behind podcast. Okay. I'm putting music on now. Okay, bye.